Well, thanks so much for coming to the presentation tonight. Uh, this is a really a great opportunity to talk to the community about the work that we do in, uh, with twins, and I'm very encouraged to see that there are some twins out in the audience tonight, so that's, uh, that's great. If you are so interested and motivated, uh, we have some study opportunities that I'll be talking about a little bit uh, toward the end of, of uh, my discussion tonight. The, uh, also, I want to thank the hundreds and thousands of twins and twin pairs that have participated in our studies over many years. And by the end of our uh, session tonight, I hope that you have an appreciation for the kinds of things that the study of twins has uh, resulted in and some of the directions for the future that, that they're headed in. So we're going to start with a discussion of the types of twins, the terms and basic concepts. I promise not to get too complicated. Some facts about twinning and then we'll uh, discuss the concept of heritability and what that, what that really means. This uh, picture that you see here of a Two twin pair uh, of a twin pair, two twins in one of our studies, um, <clears throat> identical twins. So, just to talk about some some definitions, monozygotic twins are one fertilized is one fertilized egg results from one fertilized egg, one sperm. They share a hundred percent of genes. Dizygotic twins, two fertilized eggs, two sperm share fifty percent of their genes, and twins are classified typically by uh, placental membranes. DZ twins have separate placentas and membranes. MZ twins can share one placenta but have separate amniotic sacs. That's mostly most of them. Twins can also have separate placentas and separate amniotic sacs and very rarely uh, one placenta and one amniotic <coughs> sac. On the next slide you can see the, the two poss or the three possibilities. This one is the most common one, 75% of twins. This one is the next most common, two placentas and two sacs. And this one, one placenta and one amniotic sac. This one produces some birth complications in that they can uh, easily get tangled up in their umbilical cords. So people have to be pretty careful about that kind of a pregnancy. So some terms and basic concepts. I'm going to talk about concordance and correlation, which are measures of twin similarity. Discordance, which is a measure of twin pair dissimilarity. I'm going to use the term phenotype, which is what we use, the term we use to describe the trait or the behavior or the condition that we're studying. Heritability, which is the indicator of how much, MZ, how much more MZ twins are similar than our DZ twins. And then a concept called epigenetics, which is uh, a concept of chemical markers that attach to genes and affect how they're expressed that can be induced from the environment. And that uh, I'll, I'll show you a little bit about some of the more recent fascinating research about how identical twins can actually be quite different depending on the environments they encounter. So first, some facts about twinning. On average, one in 40 Newborn babies is a, born as a twin, and the proportion varies widely throughout the world. In Japan, it's 102, 1 in 250, and in Nigeria, it's 1 in 11. MZ twinning rate is fairly constant, but the DZ twinning rate can be very uh, different across time and country. The sex ratio is about uh, which is the ratio of males to total births uh, in DZs is about the same as singletons. Uh, the ratio for MZs is lower uh, than you'll find in singletons. Okay, we're going to move on to some, some more interesting facts. Uh, one of the things that I found interesting as I prepared this talk was that <laughs> the mother's physiology can actually change dramatically, more strikingly, when she's pregnant with twins than with singletons. And that could play a part in protecting uh, the health of the twins. 33% of all twins are MZ, and even though they share 100% of their genes, uh, they can still appear to be different. Um, 
And interestingly, 10 to 15% of MZ twins are mirror image twins. They have uh, minor features that are on opposite sides. So for example, hand in this, left and right, wrinkles, tooth loss, cowlicks, uh, physician of warts even, which is uh, pretty interesting. The reason for spontaneous MZ twinning, identical twinning, is not known. But it does increase two to five times with in vitro fertilization. <coughs> 